Do you know how to work with values that are written in scientific notation? Let's take a look at how to take an expression written in scientific notation and convert it to a value. Here's our first one. We have 3.14 times 10 to the ninth power. This is an example of an expression that's written in scientific notation. Now we want to write it as a value. So in other words, we want to write it the long way without this power. To do that, we are going to move our decimal point the same number of places as is represented by the exponent. So, we're going to start here with 3.14 and our decimal point needs to move nine places. Now because this exponent is positive, we're going to move the decimal point to the right. Watch. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9 places. Now what are we going to put in the middle? We're going to put zeros. 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0. The zeros represent the places that we saw in our exponent. So now we have 3, 4, and we have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7 zeros. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. And we can put our commas in. So we have 3,140,000,000. That's what's represented in this value. Let's look at another one. 5.62 times 10 to the fourth. Again, we're going to write this as a value. We're going to move our decimal point four places to the right. 5.62, 1, 2, 3, 4. Put in two zeros and we can rewrite the number. And our answer is 56,200. Now look at this one. 1 1.37 times 10 to the negative 2 power. Notice that here our exponent is negative. That means instead of moving our decimal point to the right, we are going to move it to the left. So, Let's look at how that happens. 1.37. We're going to move it two places. 1, 2. Put our decimal point. Substitute a 0. And we have 137 ten thousandths. This is our answer. Here we have 4.68 times 10 to the negative fifth power. Again, we're going to move our decimal point this way to the left. So we would have, let's rewrite 4.68. We're going to move it five places. One, two, three, four, five. And we have four zeros. And then the rest of our number. And this is our answer. So just to review, remember, if it, you have a positive exponent, then you're going to move your decimal point to the right. If you have a negative exponent, you're going to move your decimal point to the left. This is how we can work taking an expression in scientific notation and writing it as a value.